Hey, what's going on YouTube and comic book community? Welcome to Comic Talk here at There Can Be Only Vaughn, the live edition, twitch.tv. It's where it's at for comic books every Wednesday. Today, February 17th, new comic book day. Hashtag NCBD across all social media platforms. Let's get right into the books, indies, DC, Marvel. First up, Aftershock Comics. We got a number one in Shadow Doctor. This one's actually really cool. It's based on a true story. I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, Peter Calloway is the writer, but it's based on his grandfather who was trying to be a doctor in the 1930s, but nobody wanted to hire him because he was a black man. So the only thing that he had to turn to was crime. And who else in Chicago was running mafia-like crimes? None other than Al Capone. So number one, new book from Aftershock. I would check that book out based on somebody's life. I think it's exciting. Moving forward, we have uh, issue two of the picture of everything else. This one's really interesting. It's about this artist who runs into a guy who has these uh, special abilities to draw paintings. And then if he like draws a limb falling off of you or like slashing your, it's a horror book, slashing your throat, uh, putting, uh, uh, f <laughs> putting the picture on, fi uh, on fire or whatever, you will burn. So something that, happens in the photo in the in the picture in the oil paintings happens to the person in real life so it's really cool if you like your horror comics so check that out the picture of everything else issue number two uh, another one from vault this is a new number one called a hollow heart so we're going to check this one out l used to be human now he's a jumble of organs in a bio suit so that's the quick synopsis i'm not going to read the rest of it because i want you guys to check out that new number one from vault Moving over to Boom. Oh, excuse me. This is Dynamite. This is issue five of Dynamite. They're, they're zombie, Marvel zombies, deceased equivalent. I, I picked this one up, issue five, because this is a Dr. Seuss homage. So I thought that was really cool. Red Sonya on there. Sonya, Sonya. I'm moving over to Boom now. We have Abbott 1973. This one's really good, actually. Uh, journalist who messes with the occult. And she's got superpowers of her own or something. We're not superpowers, but like dark art style powers. So it's a really, really good book. And of course, you know, a, a black woman who's a journalist in the 70s. You know, it's already got that backstory there for you to check out. Moving over to Dark House or Only Dark House. Uh, dark House. Dark Horse. <laughs> dark Horse Comics are only one from them this week. Young Hellboy issue number one. The Mike Mignola cover. Had to pick it up. Hidden Lands. We're going to check it out. I haven't picked up any Hellboy in a very long time, so I'm excited to read that. Uh, moving over to Image, we have Walking Dead Deluxe, issue number nine. So we're picking up all these as they come out. Next week, I saw in the solicitations that the second prints for one through six were coming out, which is funny because this is already a reprinting of the original Walking Dead series, but in color. Um, but the, the, those second prints look awesome. They're like half... Uh, human have zombified faces of all the main characters. It's great. And then we picked up a variant as well for nine because I thought this one was really, really cool. Slab worthy. A lot of like if, if artwork looks good to me, it's slab worthy. No matter what it is, even if it's not a key or, or not. Because it's cool to do like giveaways, mystery boxes with uh just a random slab. Sometimes it might be key, sometimes it might be something else, but it's always nice to get a 9-8 and whatever it is to have into your collection. Uh, two more image books. So we have issue two of Haha. -Ha. We picked up both copies because this book is hot right now. Creator of Ice Cream Man. Issue one is already going for 15 bucks. Uh, and that's the uh, average sale too. So uh, it's gonna keep climbing, I guarantee you. And last one from Image, we have Stillwater issue number six. This is gonna finish off the first story arc for the book. Great book, Chip Zdarsky's killing it. Highly suggest you guys check it out. It's about a town that never ages and how the judge of the town keeps it a secret and doesn't let anyone out. It's good. Uh, it's got a Napoleon power trip going on in that book. All right, so going over to DC, we have some future state reprints. So I picked all these up because they're uh, character sketch art variants. So this is uh, Green Lantern, second print, issue number one. Um, even though that Green Lantern book, in my honest opinion, really wasn't that good. But these character sketches are so cool, I had to pick all of them up. Uh, Robin Eternal, number one. Tim Drake on the cover there. Like the yellow. Justice League, second print. 
and the best one this week out of the bunch of course immortal wonder woman second print number one got some black label books batman catwoman issue number three picked up the jim lee cover because it's jim lee of course and a truth and justice book about vixen issue one uh, this might be a one shot but uh there's not enough stories out there about vixen so i'm really really excited to read that one so now moving over to our main future state titles for this week nightwing issue number two so that's going to end that one they're already putting this uh solicitations for superman and lois which is going to premiere on the CW really soon. But here's Catwoman, issue number two. And Shazam, issue two. Moving on over to Superman, Future State, Worlds of War, number two. And we had to pick up this cover. The variant cardstock. Look how awesome that looks, man. Great, great cover there. Immortal Wonder Woman, issue number two. And then the cardstock variant as well. And last future state here, we have the next Batman, issue number four. Final one there, with Tim Fox. Great, John Ridley's killing that book. You guys should read it if you're Batman fans. Um, I guess we missed one uh, Aftershock issue here. This is We Live by the Miranda Brothers, issue number five. Another great, great series. Uh, and now, Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue 11. I heard there was a new team lineup in this one, so wanted to pick it up. They did not have the 1 in 50 Silver Surfer variant cover. Uh, that one's going to go for a lot of money. Uh, it probably would have been $100 in the shop if it was there, but they did not have it. Because who's getting 50 issues of Guardians right now? It's it's a book that nobody's reading, but I do hope with a new starting on point, more people will get back into it. Moving along, we have Thor issue number 12. Prey part 4, Donald Blake's going crazy. Spider-Woman number 9, out of the King in Black tie-in. So it's back to Spider-Woman continuity. Black Widow, number five. This one was out of solicitation for a couple months for some reason. So issue five is out. We have Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, issue number two. First one was kind of fun. I have a uh, one-shot spinoff here. Immortal Hulk Flatline, issue number one. I wonder what this one's about. Then we have uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man. This is issue number 23. What's nice about these issues, of course, for this month, for Black History Month, they're doing uh, all our African-American black heroes, giving them some cover love. So there's Miles right there for Black History Month. Champions Outlaw number four featuring the X-Men. Cyclops comes and joins the team. And then they did the same for Black History Month there to have Riri Williams on the cover, Ironheart herself. Very good cover. I like this cover a lot. And then the last Black History Month variant for the week. Iron Man number six with War Machine. Rhodey. Rhodey in the house. All right. Finishing it off. New number one this week. X-Men Legends number one. We picked up a couple of different covers for this one. They're taking stories, stories that were in the 90s, and then they're going to like kind of continue on from those with like brand new stories from the characters of those classic 90s uh books so it's really cool that they're they're doing that with that lineup of x-men and then this one's really cool this is the Stormbreakers variant here by uh, I, I believe this is patrick leeson i'm sure but cyclops looks sick on that cover there and finishing off with some king and black tie-ins gwenham versus carnage this is uh, the second printing here, so a reprint. I think this is in Hyuk Lee, who did a variant for the first issue that went for Buku's amount of money. It was crazy. Planet of the Symbiotes, issue number two. I think this one's kind of cool because the symbiote there looks like Godzilla almost, and it's kind of like a nice nod because King Kong versus God or Godzilla versus King Kong. Excuse me, we can't, we can't. <laughs> There's name placements important. Godzilla versus King Kong. That movie's coming out soon. So if you guys are into kai, kaiju, uh, look forward to it. And then finally, King and Black issue number four. Main uh, cover there. 
And then what's interesting here is that we got uh, Peach Momoko's preview for Demon Day. She's writing and drawing that book. So it's getting a lot of spec. People are wondering if Peach Momoko can write as well as she draws. All right, our pick of the week, of course, Last Ronin issue number two is out. Been a little while since uh, the first issue dropped. Can't wait to read this one. So we picked that one up and we also picked up the, uh, the variant cover here. Had to pick up the variant cover as well. So it's already in the Mylar because you got to protect that book. And then we picked up some variant covers I got to show you guys as well. We went ham on the variants this week. So we picked up Black Widow number five variant. We picked up Thor issue 12 variant. And then X-Men Legends because it's the hot Marvel book this week. And I think I believe this is the one in ten. And then last but not least, we had a one in fifty David Finch, Miles Morales Spider-Man issue twenty-three. This one is sexy because if you can see the back, you see the purple Spider Spider logo. That is exactly the same logo on the first Ultimate Spider-Man comic featuring Miles Morales issue number one, polybagged with the red spider on the cover so i like that homage with the purple in the background it looks great love this cover beautiful thank you mr finch for drawing that so that was it guys february 17th ncbd your new comics here at the comic talk hope you guys enjoyed all the books that we picked up if you have a favorite series let me know in the comments down below and um going forward you're going to see a new video series that i'm going to title Henceforth, title, Raw Books Inside. So I thought that name was kind of cool because people have been pre-screening. What you can do with CGC, when you send your books in to be graded, uh, you can do a pre-screen. So you send in 25 books, you set the grade, whatever grade you want. If you want all your books to pre-screen at 9.8, that means that if it hits a 9.8, they're going to slap every single one of those books. And if it doesn't meet that great criteria, they'll send it back to you free of charge or, or they won't charge you for uh, shipping the book. It'll be like a $5 charge or something like that. And um, they'll put it, uh, they'll, <laughs> they'll ship it back to you with your slabbed books in a little box entitled raw books inside to showcase that hey these books didn't make the cut so i think that was a great uh, name for a segment for a new series uh, and essentially that's what they are they are indeed raw books so i hope you guys enjoyed the video until next week for the 24th of february it's been your boy the vaughn and only and always remember to bag them and board them